What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. So today, my queen and I are going to St. Lucia. Woo -woo. But um, it's actually for her birthday trip. She turns, I'm not saying how old she is, tomorrow. So we thought it was a good getaway. And we're gonna see if we can do it on a budget. St. Lucia was actually ranked number one by US Travel News for honeymoon destinations. So that means that it is expensive. So our goal is under $1,200. We got this ticket for around $410 round trip. We'll see if we can do it. Just to get from the airport to our villa where we're staying was $60. And then $60 to come back, that's $120 already. So getting this rental car, we got it through drive matic is the name of the company? Yeah, drive matic And we got it for about $180 for five days. So um, really good deal in that um, behalf. It's a hybrid car. This is going to be a little weird, weirder than everything <laughs> I ever did because I'm driving on the opposite side yeah, of the road. I'm not driving, So like, look, driving. I'm on the left side and I'm You're driving. On right I'm yeah. on the right side. And the road is going to be on the confused yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna see how this goes man we're gonna see Crazy, that's bigger than your head, Lou. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and here we are. Let's check it out. Ryan Little. <laughs> So we just checked into our Airbnb. It's called what? Save a Villa. Now this place is beautiful overlooking the Patans. Um, we had an infinity pool. It's really a two bedroom, double floors, but- Just for the two of us. Just for the two of us. <laughs> it's her birthday, so we'll, we'll ball a little bit. It actually is way cheaper than all the other resorts that we saw. Um, now what we're gonna do is try to hope and find we can find something to eat. But it's curfew, the sun has set, and I don't know what's available, so. If we don't do it, we're gonna be even slimmer tomorrow. <laughs> All right, so we've been driving around for a little bit and I think we found a local spot. Um, problem is we don't have any cash. So we're gonna try to see, all we got is a $50 bill. So- we, He didn't wanna exchange money sooner. Yeah, they so. were trying to rip us off. So I'm gonna see if they'll take our $50 bill, if they give us a good rate or if I can use my card. Otherwise- We're we gonna ain't, be starving. Yeah, we ain't gonna eat today. <laughs> Babe, I'm sorry. We ain't gonna eat on your birthday. <laughs> So we're just walking. It's past curfew right now, but it seems like people are still out. Oh, oh wow. We got to Garner's place right here, hoping to get some good food. The Garner's, ultimately, it was a success because yes. we got food and we also got some change of our money from her local currency, which is the Easter ECD. Um, essentially, we got four chicken burgers. Yes. The two chicken sandwiches and the apple juice. Liv got the same thing. I mean, ultimately, the price was right. It was um, 10 uh, ECD and the apple juice was 250. So all in all, we spend $10. Yeah, not $10 bad. $10 for the two of us, so that's $5 a piece. I would rate this like a three and a half or a four. It's gonna get the job done. Liv, what would you rate this? I would rate it a one. A one? <laughs> I'm sorry. A it's one? just not my favorite. Oh, man. I'm sorry. A one means you hate it. <laughs> <laughs> It's currently 6 a.m. It's Olivia's birthday. It's time to wake her up. No sleeping on your birthday. Your 
So I was flying my drone and I got it stuck in this tree. I'm gonna show y'all. All right, so my goal is to use all these rocks to hit my drone out of the tree. The drone is still connected, so I could see, see it's still there. I hope I get it out, man. Two hours later. I got it a drone. Woo. I thought I was done for, but I got the drone. I got the been chilling in the pool all morning. It's currently eight o'clock. About to get the. My birthday. It's her birthday. It is. It is. <laughs> so it's her birthday. We got some things planned. We're about to head to um, a nature hike. It shouldn't be too bad, um, but it's a little bit of a drive away. So we we'll get that and we get breakfast later. So stay tuned. Thank you. So we just got some snacks from a local store, so we can eat a little bit before our hike. So overall. Yep, we got a bunch of nuts and peanuts for a little hike and it's big water. water. And, and most importantly, they let us change our US dollar to the ECD. So yeah. we ended up having some leftover money as well. So overall, we spent $4.75, got breakfast and water. Cha-ching! Right. Snacks, really, not breakfast. All right, snacks. <laughs> All right, so we made it to the Tetpole Nature Trail. This one cost us $10 each. Um, but we paid with the US dollar and got uh, East Caribbean dollar money back. So We're gonna start right at this tree right here. This is the mango tree. In the Caribbean, there are 60 different species of mangoes. And here we are. Look at that thing. What does that live? Grow it's grow. The S is silent. Grow. Right? Pitan. The S is silent? Oh, yeah. It's grow. <laughs> grow Be cultured, Liv. <laughs> I'm trying. I don't know how we were going to climb this. <laughs> but we ain't going to do it no we're more. We're going to do that. <laughs> Stairway to heaven. Alright, so we made it to the stairway of heaven, to the top. We see the Petit Patan. Petit Patan. Grow Patan over there. She cultured now. She said grow. <laughs> I know it now. That's the grow. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. That's and the down, petite. Down there you can see Sugar Beach, but that's currently closed unless you go there via water taxi. But it's so gorgeous to see up here. So on our way down this hike, we're actually are running now because we just found out that there's a curfew on Sunday for one o'clock for Liz's birthday. So it's currently 11.30 and we're trying to see something else. So we're just running down here trying to get down as fast as we can. All right. So, so. we just went to Massey Supermarket um, because the curfew's at one o'clock. So we thought we were gonna have a birthday dinner tonight, but it looks like we're cooking it instead. Um, all together we spend about $50, but hopefully it's for like three meals or so. We'll uh, see about that. And now we're at Torreal Waterfall. Torreal? I think that's how you say it. To get in here was three US dollars per each. Person. So $6 total, but $3 each. Here's Torreal. Now we really have to run because curfew's at 1, 12.47. We got the pictures and now we gotta be out. Woo! I never seen her run before, look at this. She could run? She could run? So just our luck, as soon as we're about to get ready to leave to go get curfew. Our car battery died. <laughs> it is 12.53, curfew's at 1 o'clock. We gotta try to, now these great, great hospitable, um, St. Lucian people came and are gonna give us a jump. But are we gonna pass, we're gonna break curfew. Why we didn't know it was a curfew is because it just started on Friday. So 
yesterday when we, when we went out to the local spot, we could have got stopped and fined. They said the fine is death. Damn! All right, I'm joking. It's not death. It's not death. <laughs> but it's ten thousand uh, dollars or six months in jail. Yeah, which one would you rather do? Ten thousand dollars or six months in jail? So due to the 1 p.m. curfew here in St. Lucia, I couldn't go out to eat for my birthday. However, I do have a private chef here. Private chef Chu, okay. <laughs> you know, gotta do what I gotta do for the queen for her birthday. Let's see, we got some baked chicken, some mac and cheese, okay. That's it. <laughs> That's all we got. Good morning, good, good morning. morning. <laughs> right here from St. Lucia, it's currently day three. Um, we just started the morning right with some yoga. Yes. Um, right over the balcony, overlooking the batons. This is actually our last day here, unfortunately. But we gotta get the day started, so we're gonna go cook breakfast and then go out for the day. Now, this right here is turkey bacon, eggs, peppers, onions, and bread. This is from the same food from the um, grocery store we went to, so that $50 we spent, $25 a piece, is really going a long way. And bye bye Saber Villa. <laughs> I don't want to leave. <laughs> but we gotta go. Nice. Getting the day started, heading out now. Our next stop is Sulphur Springs, the world's only volcano that you can drive into. Admission to the pools costs $10 per person. We had an amazing time here, and we even made a vlog about our experience here that you can find in the top right corner. So we're not going to go into too much detail because in the other video we go into a ton more. Here you put the mud over you, you let it dry, then you wash it off in this very very hot water. Honestly I would recommend not wearing a nice bathing suit as you get a strong stench of the sulfur and the dark color of the mud tends to ruin your bathing suit as well. The Soufre volcano last erupted around 200 years ago, but it is considered a dormant volcano. You can even see the volcano bubble and release gas, but I believe that is an additional $10 fee in order right, to see so that. we just left Sulphur Springs. Overall, I really enjoyed it. I loved it there. I, I felt like I was in the flaming <laughs> pits of hell. <laughs> I love heat. I mean, the first baths were very hot, but once you get to the one that you can tolerate, it's good. Diamond Botanical Gardens. And right here is a cocoa tree where chocolate comes from. And these right here are poisonous. Botanical garden, they got these palm fruits. Mmm, mmm, mad good. This right here is the pink torch ginger. Please do not touch this. They said it's so sensitive and allergic to human skin that if you touch it, the next day it goes black and dies. But look how beautiful it is. <laughs> right here is a bread and cheese plant because it's edible. Should I do it, Liv? I mean, you're going to anyway. You're right. Don't taste like bread and cheese. <laughs> Not bad though. Tart, citrusy kind of. Citrus. Here we are at Diamond Waterfall. This is beautiful. And all of these different colors due to the different properties that is in the water. Just finished up with Diamond Botanical Gardens. It was $7 a piece. Um, they also have an additional $7 for private baths 
and six dollars for a public bath um, it was a really really cool place if you like greenery if not there isn't really much to do um, the waterfall you actually can't get into the pools me personally I wouldn't recommend because they didn't seem too nice to me but um, it's up to your decision of what you want to do check out the new spot full kitchen living room we got a balcony up here see the view of the batons let's leave me live all full wrap around cool. patio nice vibrant color that's right and here we are at Fido's new venture local food spot <laughs> And honestly, pretty affordable local food spot. That looks good. Thank you. All right, so we had a couple of bites. Mm -hmm. This is Fido's? Fido's, yes. Or Fido's? Yeah. But the, she got the uh, Creole shrimp. Mm -hmm. What do you rate this? Definitely at least a 9.5 out of 10. Mm. It's really good. It's really good. Now, I got the curry shrimp, curry fish. I would give this eight and a half. This is really good local food. I'd highly recommend this, and it's really expensive. Um, really well seasoned. You can yeah. also add this hot pepper sauce, too, if you need very spicy, extra spice. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think mine cost 18, which is like about six or seven dollars. And hers is the shrimp. Hers comes out to be 18 dollars for shrimp, so yeah. relatively inexpensive for St. Lucia. We're on our way to the beach, but of course, the Patan is right there looking gorgeous as ever. Yes, roll that window down. This is literally feeling like I'm riding a horse. This is how I feel. Yeehaw! <laughs> And now we are heading to Anne's Chesney. Yes. Okay, so we just got back from Anne's Chesnet Beach, which is near Jade Mountain Resort. So overall, it was a very peaceful beach. The water was really nice. Um, it looks like there's a lot of scuba diving and other activities that are there. The water was nice, but it was very rocky. So if you have water shoes, probably you should bring them. Yeah. Unlike us. <laughs> <laughs> but we got back just in time before quarantine, so. The curfew at 7 p.m., so. It's curfew now 6.45, so. Just made it. Just made it. All right, so it's day four in St. Lucia. Today we're gonna venture out of Sufri. We're gonna head up to Rodney Bay, and we have a couple more things planned for the day, so. Check it out. So now we're in K Street. It's a lot different. This is more like a westernized city than other places we were. Yeah, a bit more modern. All right, so we made it for our COVID appointment at nine o'clock. We're gonna do the rapid test here at Rodney Bay Medical Center. Um, it's on our way to our destinations in the north today, so. One thing about the Caribbean is that the KFC is really good. I'm not so big about fast food on vacation, but I saw KFC and I haven't seen much fast food places here. Yeah, so, none. <laughs> so we had to get the KFC. So I got a chicken sandwich, fries, and a breast. And Liv got this popcorn chicken with the drink and fries. We're in Red Wee Beach for our next destination. Splash Island Water Park. This is the Caribbean's first open water sports park and it was opened in August of 2015. Ryan I also made a video on this, so I'm not gonna go into too depth about our experience, but, but this cost $13 for an hour and we only stayed there for an hour. Besides the lifeguards, we were the only ones here at the time. But online, you can check the time slot availability beforehand. There's so many fun obstacle course style activities. It was kind of like Ultimate Ninja, but on water, in the rain. <laughs> They had trampolines, slides, rope climbing, things to flip off of. Just be sure to check the weather beforehand as when you do the obstacles, when they're wet, it definitely becomes a lot harder. And it's mandatory to wear a life vest. Everybody has to wear one. But overall, I highly, highly recommend this experience. It might've been my favorite thing to do on the whole island while I was there. 
Alright, and we got recommended to have triangle. So it's kind of buffet style, but it looks real good. I don't know how much it costs though, but I had to stop on the side of the road to get her a nice coconut. That was less than a dollar. Two VC, so 80 something cents. <laughs> Alright, and we made it into Pigeon Island. This is a historic island. Yes. Um we are just gonna venture out. It costs 10 US to get in a piece. So just gonna venture around. Yes, see what we see. Look at that fort up there. We gotta get up there, Liv. Yeah. Okay, so we found out that on Pigeon Island, this station over here used to be a US signal station during World War II. So we're getting a little bit of history in on our trip too. Yep. <laughs> I'm not gonna hold you. This hike up has some views. Mighty God, man. Yeah, I know. Mad steep. And we're here. Fort Rodney. Look at that peak. It is gorgeous. Got the cannons. Look at the views. So I didn't know it, but Pigeon Island is actually really dope. We climbed all the way to the top and we're here at Fort Rodney. And this is a beautiful, beautiful lookout point with beaches on both sides here. Now, if you look through that area right there, through the clouds, you can actually see Martinique, which is a French colony. This was a British point where they used as a strategic defense point. Now we're here at Pigeon Island. We got a private beach to ourselves. Look at this, just me and Liv. Beautiful view of these mountains. Get used to this one. Next stop is to try to hit Marigold Bay before the sun sets. Looks like we gotta take a ferry to the beach, but um, hopefully it's a nice sunset. might just take this drink. <laughs> but you actually, that's it right there. You actually can swim across. But I'm with my queen over there and I ain't gonna leave her. Uh, but look at this. This will be a beautiful time, beautiful sunset on the beach. This is a coconut. Okay. You gotta keep on hitting it. Yeah. Round and round. Till it cracks up. Okay. This is Marigou Bay Rum, which is named right after this big Marigou Bay. Okay. Yeah. That's the only place on the island you get this drink. Ah, nice. So I tried to come here to swing off of this rock. Yeah. Try to walk over. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what we can do. Wait, wait. Yeah. Yeah. You saw it? So, we got about a 50 minute drive. I got one bar of gas before we're on E. Curfew is at 7 o'clock. It's currently 6.30. It's a 50 minute drive. We're gonna break curfew. I hope we can get some gas, but if we can't get gas, and we don't get, I don't know if we can get home. <laughs> I'm hoping that we are gonna get there, but we messed up with this one. All right, so the gas light just came on. Liv, how many miles we got left? We have nine kilometers. Nine kilometers. I hope to God, Chevy Spark, please take us there. Ah. Yo, guess what? We made it! <laughs> oh, man. That thing, Chevy Sparks, man. Cut it close, though. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I didn't think we was going to make it, but we made it. You thought we was going to make it, Liv? Yes. Yeah, right. We had better made it. <laughs> 
<laughs> good morning, good morning. It's our last day in St. Lucia, day five here. Um, we're heading out. Remember, we still don't have gas in the car. So we gotta go get gas, try to get this back to where it needs to be, and then we're heading to the beach later, so. All right, so we just got gas. We came to a total of 55 EC, which is about $20 US, split between the two of us, $10 a piece. So gas, this car is great. This car is great, y'all. Cool. This is a really cool church here. But we're walking down. We're in Lavery Bay. And we're gonna eat at this a, a restaurant and bar. Here they have some really good roti. All right, and we are here at Lavery Bay. This is a beautiful beach. Nice, secluded. Yeah, this is nice. And then we got beef roti, chicken roti, veggie roti, two of these green apple drinks, all for 40 EC, which is about $15. $14 and now we're just gonna eat on the beach. $7 a piece. All right, so a and Liv, what would you rate it? 9.8. 9.8 out of 10. Yeah, I love it. My chicken roti, I give it a solid nine. This is great roti, so if you're ever at the Library Beach, come check it out. Problem I always have at the end of my trips is I always have leftover money, so we just went and bought all of these prom and that was 10 ec which is like two dollars but look at this big bag <laughs> supporting locals just like that we're leaving st lucia what an amazing trip what an amazing trip